So, we're here at the Nanara Connect, and you're talking about the VPP on ARM64. So, hi. So, uh, my name is uh, Fanapa. I work for uh, ARM. I'm the uh, principal software engineer. So, so, what, so what is the VPP? Uh, it is a vector packet processor. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's a different way of doing uh, packet processing on uh, uh, a bunch of CPU cores. Uh, is it, does it have to do with multi-threaded multi uh, applications? Or? Yes, it's a multi-threaded applications. But uh, when we say vec vector packet processor, it's doing uh, packet processing in parallel on a bunch of packets. A bunch of packets. Yes. So uh, it says here works on various ARM platforms out of the box. Yes. All CI, CI test pass. Uh, ARM boards are getting added. Yes. Uh, is this for the networking or what is what kind of uh, business is this? Yes. So let me uh, talk. Uh, give you an overview of what we are doing here. So uh, VPP is uh, uh, is the uh, software switch, and it has got uh, uh, various protocol stacks that do the packet processing. So what we want to do uh, at ARM is we want to make sure that VPP works well out of the box on various ARM platforms. So uh, the best way to do that is to uh, get into the CI loop of VPP. So we uh, started this project around uh, three to four months back. Um, uh, today, uh, we pass all the unit test cases. Uh, we are working on uh, enabling the CSIT test cases. And uh, we, ha we have shipped the ARM hardware to the FIDO lab where this uh, CI is run. And right now, this hardware is getting racked. And uh, once that happens, we'll be able to run uh, 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 CI on ARM platforms. So after that, anybody should be able to git clone the VPP repository and you know, do a make release and make test. We should be Does working that on that. You are uh, networking a bunch of ARM solutions, ARM boards together, and running the software on any of them over the network, or how does that work? No, um, not just saying. So, so the net, the ARM platforms are acting as the routers and switches to route the uh, internet traffic, for example, and VPP is that routing software. So by enabling VPP on ARM platform, uh, we are making sure that the ARM platforms can be used as routers and switches. So uh, what is the demo right here? So in this demo, what we have got is, uh, we have got two boards. One is the uh, Qualcomm-centric 2400, which is a 48-core ARM V8 compliant uh, processor. Then we have got another uh, uh, SOC, it's a 4-4... Four, four, uh, Maquetobin. Marvel Maquetobin, yes, I'm running on the server somewhere? In the uh, US or somewhere? These two are running in the Austin, uh, uh, Austin. lab at ARM. Right now we know, and you connect uh, remotely to them to do that. Yes. Um, so here uh, I'm trying to show a demo. Uh, this is the uh, uh, VPP uh, running on the uh, Maquetobin. And we have got the uh, traffic generator, which is uh, sending traffic. And I have a traffic generator console where I can issue commands to the traffic generator. So now on the VPP, uh, you know, uh, all the uh, uh, commands that VPP supports can be executed on uh, Macchiato bin. So for example, we could run uh, uh, show IPR and it shows the, uh, uh, the state of the uh, uh, router. So it shows the ARP cache in the uh, uh, router. And then uh, you can uh, issue commands like show interface, wherein it shows how many packets are coming in to the uh, router and how many packets got transmitted out of the router. So this is very important for the future of the ARM uh, networking yes. solutions, right? Yes. They've it's been waiting the, for this? Uh, yes, I mean, it, VPP what is one of the... This? Um, uh, it's one of the solutions to do this kind of stuff. Yes, VPP is... Uh, one of the next generation solutions that we are looking uh, at enabling on ARM. And uh, uh, yes, this is uh, very important for us.